Hey, it's Holly, and in today's video, I'm gonna be sharing with you all 10 Cotton and Crete home decor finds for the spring season. Now, springtime is one of my favorite times to buy home decor because typically it's decor that you can use all year long, which these finds are great for all year long. I can't wait to share with you guys our first find, so let's get started. I'm gonna start off with item number one, which is a three-in-one. It is this beautiful three set of pots. It's got a European feel to it. It's yellow inside and it's glazed. And they also have another set that's a blue glaze. I love the yellow and I think it just adds kind of that European touch and a special charm. I have it stacked right now just like this, but you can also have it as three separate pieces, which I probably will do. And right now I've been collecting home decor for the party barn build, as well as the tiny home build. And so I've got lots of decor choices, of moving these to different spaces, and I'm really excited about that. Now, speaking of those builds, I have this Darlene Bell, and I'm trying to hold it steady so that I don't hurt your guys' ears since my mic is right here. And it's this beautiful cast iron bird bell, and I'm gonna be putting this right outside of the tiny home. I think since we're not gonna have a doorbell, this will be just a fun way to be able to have kind of a doorbell effect, but add a little bit of charm. I like how it's the bird, and I don't know, it's just perfect for spring, but obviously all year long. And this one's really affordable at $24, and I love it. So this is item number two. Item number three is a really cute one. It is strawberry measuring cups. I don't know why, but I feel like I kind of collect measuring cups. I have quite a few sets. All of them are very cute. And every year I feel like there are new updated cute ones. I love these strawberry ones. And although these are obviously very spring, very summer, they work all year long. So I love, love these. I actually used to have a mason jar set. So it was stackable and I had those for years. They worked out so great. So I'm so excited to have ones very similar. And these are microwave and dishwasher safe. So this will be a cute addition for baking and cooking this spring. And while we're talking about cooking and baking, I'm gonna share with you guys item number four, which I think you guys will love just as much. It is this darling cookbook right here baking book, cookbook, it's called Farmhouse Weekends, and it's menus for relaxing country meals all year long. So in the book, because I've already deep dived into it, it goes season by season of different meals that are good for obviously different seasons, and that's how they categorize it. There are some amazing desserts in here that I'm so excited to try. I love baking. That's I would take baking any day over cooking. I love baking. And there are some great recipes in here. I'll share with you guys a few of them. And not only that, there's some beautiful photography. And the author of this book, her home, she shares a photo of it. And it is this beautiful white farmhouse. So some beautiful, beautiful things in this book. I wanna share with you guys one of my favorite desserts that I'm itching to make. Let me show you her um, home. I think you'll love it. Here is her home right here. I hope you guys can see that. Isn't it beautiful? Farm stand apple cider donut holes. Those sound amazing. And these recipes, oh, look at this salad, are so so easy to follow, which I really like. For summer, they have campfire s'more brownies. Look how good that looks. Peach crumb muffins, cinnamon sugar zucchini bread, yum, looks so good. Blueberry and cream cheese breakfast bake. Oh my goodness, so yummy. Such a great little book. And with this, I got this cute, 
wood recipe stand. Let me show you guys, it's darling. So here is what it looks like without the stand. So if you don't want this out all the time, it's really, really easy to store. Here is what it looks like on the stand. So it's obviously the perfect size. And then you can have it opened to your favorite recipe to follow just really simply. One of my favorite finds is this chicken container. It looks very, very old, which is a great way to add some character. It kind of reminds me of something that my grandma would have bought um, maybe like 20, 30 years ago when I was little and you know, those styles have come back. For some people, they never went away depending on your style. And I just love this. I think it's a great way to store things, put things away, but also have a great piece of decor out. And I just love that aged look. Item number seven is something that goes perfectly, something I love very much, and it is candles. And today back here, I'm burning um, one of my favorites, which is Country Pear by Antique Candle Co. It smells so good for the spring and summertime. I just brought out that one. I also brought out oh, such a good one. What is it called? I always forget. Is it citrus and mango? Pineapple. All those tropical ones. But I brought the tropical summer ones out. And it just makes me so happy, especially when the sun is out. And today the sun is out. We actually just got back from baseball. We had a baseball game for the first time this season. So it just seems to be appropriate to bring out all those beautiful scents and just makes me happy, especially when we bring those sunglasses out. So paired with those candles, I always have my electric lighter um, charged and ready to go. Those are great for emergencies, but so are matches and you can never go wrong with matches. In fact, it's something that makes a great gift too. So if you need a simple gift, matches are a great way to go when they're decorative like this. And I got this ladybug one and it's for a gift for somebody that, without giving any spoilers, their mom used to call them their ladybug. And so I'm going to give them this as a housewarming present with a candle um, for something that I don't want to spoil because I am very well known for spoiling things. And I think I spoiled something in my last video that I didn't mean to spoil. Oops. So I got these, they're so cute. And like I said, always a great gift. Item number eight is such a great one. If you were a DIYer and especially a crafter and somebody that loves doing gifts. I got from Cotton and Crete maybe two years ago, this beautiful, it looks like a pair of scissors and it is a pair of scissors. It's cast iron and there is all of this yarn around it and it's perfect. If you have a little gift, you wanna add some yarn, and it just honestly makes a gift elevated. So, I got this darling one, and it comes in this container, and you get different colors, so you get to choose. Like, there's a bright blue, a bright pink. I went with something a little bit more neutral, and inside, it just loops out the twine. And I thought this was a great idea, since we do a lot of gifts, we're in baseball right now, it's the baseball season, you know, for everybody, for everybody that does baseball. And since I know that there's going to be opportunities to do, you know, a snack a day, these are just perfect to tie. It elevates it really nicely and is such a practical thing to have, especially as a mom. So love this. Item number nine is one item in three. I love when I get things in sets like this. It just is wonderful. I am, like I said, planning for, I'm always decorating our own home here, but now I have the opportunity to decorate our party barn as well as our tiny home. And both of those are on the same stages now, which is crazy to think about that they are um, caught up with one another. And that was never, never the plan. So I think we might end up finishing the tiny home before the party barn because the tiny home is more of a necessity than the party barn. And um, to give you some more context into the party barn, it is not just a place for family gatherings, but I'm looking for storage opportunities for these spaces and baskets are such a great way. So I got these, I thought that these would be 
perfect. These ones will probably most likely be in the party barn. They're stackable and they're just a great opportunity whether it be you need um, for one of these toilet paper, if you need to store something in built-ins, if you need something for a couple of pairs of shoes or um, in your built-ins. There's so many opportunities for, you know, putting your bananas in it or apples. There's just, the possibilities are endless. Now I'm thinking of all the cool ideas I can do in my house too with these, but I need some storage opportunities for these other projects too. So these are a great little find. And I would love to hear your guys' ideas in the comment section down below. If you have ideas for other people too, leave them down below. That would be fun to start that. Now here we have another set of three baskets. Now, something that I would like to say about these ones is the pairs that I'm showing you, they have this beautiful, almost like a, a white tint to it, which I really think has a cottage effect to it. These are really sturdy. I know people can get baskets at different places and they're not as sturdy. These are very high quality and I love these. Now we've got a small one right here. We've got a medium bear. It's hard to do with one hand. Right here. And we have our big mama bear right here. Now, I almost feel like I wanna get two sets of these. So these came in a set together. And then if I was to get another set, that way there's one of each there's like a pair for each size, if that makes sense. So if you had two sets, you'd have two larges, two mediums, two smalls. And that way, I like when everything feels cohesive and balanced. And so I think that that would be a phenomenal idea. The first thought that I had with this large basket is at the entryway of the tiny home is to have two large baskets go underneath a console table. I'm obsessed with my console table back here, this reclaimed wood one. I want one for the tiny home when you enter in and have two baskets underneath, whether that be for shoes, blankets, maybe it might go away. But um, I just thought that that would be a great idea and an additional kind of storage idea too. So these are a great find and I've seen these on large retailer sites for much, much more. <laughs> Now all of these items are all newly released to the Cotton and Crete website. So make sure if you guys are looking for something to buy that you guys do so with the spring season and Cotton and Crete is bringing out stuff daily. So make sure every other you know couple of days you guys check it out. And I'm just so excited to start decorating you guys. Drywall gets put up Tuesday. Tuesday, yeah. Tuesday or Wednesday, and um, the decorating will begin in a few months to come. So I'm really excited. I hope you guys have a fantastic weekend, and I will see you guys later on Living at Country. Bye.